Hey y'all, so um, as you can see and read the title, I'm talking about how to beat depression. And I'm only speaking from experience and I know that this don't mean that you would never face depression again. It's just more so on how I, when I get in the mood like that, how I conquer what I feel and get through that depression. If you would like to see this video or if you want to continue watching, please do. Okay, y'all, so as y'all can see in the title that this is about depression and beating it, beating depression, how you feel in those cloudy days when it come. And I only could speak from experience because I have experienced depression more than one time, a lot of times. And I know personally for me, like when I get through that, I literally, it don't, I don't stay down for long. I kind of like get in my head like okay monet i kind of talk to myself and uplift myself in regards to like who it, who i am that i'm more than a conqueror and i'm more than what i feel that i am and that this is not me so and i'm sure that people a lot of people probably like duh that's what we do but it's more to that with and when i get and i start feeling depressed or i get in moods where i know like okay Normally, I would say yes to going out or say yes to different things, and I get start getting to the point where I'm like denying to go out or to or not denying to go out or not too quick to go out or to saying no to my friends, which they should know that's not even me because I'm always down. But when I get in those moods, I already know like what that is. So me personally, um, how I get through that. I get deep into it before, a deep depression before I even fight it, you know? It's like I let it defeat me, which is horrible, which I feel like when you depress, it's, it's like a sickness that kind of take over. And it's hard to explain it or it's hard to for people to understand where you at. Or people may think like it's a choice, but I feel like it's not. I feel like it's something that, it's kind of uncontrollable, but it's something that is going to come. But you just have to learn how to fight it or beat it and beat how you feel. So this is my reasons, reasonings or not even reasonings, but things that I do in order to beat depression. So I personally just, you know, read. And I'm a Christian, so I read the word. I read what God says about me. I read what it says in the Bible. I try to uplift myself. And sometimes it works and sometimes it don't. But I pray to God and I just trust God, like, even through the process of me feeling the way that I feel, that he get me through that. And that I let him know and understand, like, I know that I'm more than who I think I am at this moment. And that... I don't know what's coming over me. It's kind of like a conversational thing when I'm speaking to God, but that truly really helped me. If you're a person that believes in God and you trust him, praying to him and just reading his word can really uplift your spirits. And also just like writing down, like I used to get um, sticky notes and I used to write things down, like affirmations and different things and put them around my wall where I know like, Every morning, okay, I'm going to go to the bathroom because I'm going to have to fix my hair, brush my teeth, or do whatever to my face, wash my face. So I put them around me so I can see them. Or even if not dead, I put it in my phone so I can see them. And not only that, I try to fight against it. So even when I'm feeling down, it's like, for some reason, I try to speak into other people's life. Like, people would think the opposite when I'm really posting these affirmations or these long posts about just uplifting people that I'm just really in good spirits. No, it's just me trying to, I'm speaking to myself but speaking to others because I know that people can learn from the things that I'm going through. And that's why I'm making this video because I have fought and beat depression. And I constantly get through it all the time. So that those are some key things that I do. And I also, like, even when I don't want to go somewhere, I try to get up and go. I get up and go so I can be around people, be around good spirits, uh, be around people that I know that have positive spirits because I, it's, it's worse when you're around people that 
kind of have bad energy or bad spirits and you already going through what you're going through and you kind of place yourself around them it sucks to put yourself around them knowing that you already going through things but yeah try to be around positive people make sure your circle is positive be circle is positive people that you're around like they not always dealing with depression make sure they not because it's like when you around people that's always depressed it's like how can y'all help each other when y'all always going through the same thing y'all y'all need someone that's stronger or that can help you or a friend that can speak life into you or your situation and be there for you like mentally you know let you know like who you are and like this is a momentary thing, like, you're going through this right now, but tomorrow, it's going to be a brighter day. So, I thank God I have friends that do that for me and that I can go to or run to in regards to that situation. Or even with myself, I can do that as well with myself, even though it's harder. But that's another re thing that you can do, but it's really a mind thing, y'all. Like, I think when you're down, it's kind of like... To me, it's like the devil, like, yeah, yeah, like, I got her or him where I want them. And it's like, he's winning. And it's like, it's a it's a mind control. Like, you'll, you'll think about something bad and you're related and keep relating stuff to stuff just to prove your point of, like, okay, why you feel the way that you feel. And majority of the time, it's not true. The majority of the time, we making it up and we making it bigger than what we see it. So my thing is, is just don't be alone in a alone space. Don't be in the dark. Have lights on in the house if you're in the house. Or if you want alone, try to go out, do something like walk or read a book or go around a friend or go around a family member so you can laugh and so your spirits can get up. Just try to stay away from thinking because I think our own mind can really like get the best of us and be our worst enemy. But... I just say, like, for, from my experiences, like, I get depressed really fast. Like, if I'm in a, going through a breakup, like, uh, like, I'm pretty sure any female that went through a breakup went through something like this. But when you go through a breakup, you get depressed with that. Or if you feel like you're not good enough or your life not going the way you going, sometimes we can put more pressure on ourselves than we think we are, when they, than we think or know that we're doing. And we could watch other people doing these things, especially on social media. And you see them posting all these great things that they're doing in their life, vacationing and all this, and you're just here. And that could be a depression in itself because it feel like you're not amounting to what you feel as if you should be doing at this very moment in your life. Like you were supposed to be doing this, but you're not doing this, you're doing that. But my, I'm here to tell you, like, your life is going the way it's supposed to go. It is. This is how it's supposed to be going. Like, you're not at that place because God is still working on you. Or you're still working on some things. Or there's some things that need to be fixed before you get to that place. And just because it seems and it looks like they having this great, fantastic life, that don't mean, always mean that that's the case. You know, people can paint a beautiful picture. Like, just like I can, like... Before then, I just would post stuff or I just would um, post good pictures without expressing myself. So to the media or to other people, it seemed like that I have this fantastic, fantastic life that I don't go through nothing. And I do. We all do. We not perfect. But outside of that, sometimes you just have to take a step back or take a cleanse or get off social media because it really could be a depressing state especially if you have so many bad spirits so many bad statuses yeah so sometimes you have to delete your social media for some time or get off social media because sometimes it could just really get in your spirit and really be a distraction and make you feel like you're not doing enough or you don't amount to nothing because you're watching and seeing all these people have these great things going on in their life or they have these great accomplishments that they're doing, but not knowing what they went through in order to get there. Or even if it's real, like we don't know. So we have to stop 
basing our life on other people's happy moments or moments that they're posting that they want us to see and just focus on yourself and bettering yourself and making sure you where you need to be mentally, physically, emotionally. That way, you know, you are the main focus because once you make sure you're the main focus and you're a priority in your life, then everything else will fall into place because, of course, you're the most important person. Like, nobody else is. You have to make sure you're happy within yourself in order to make others happy. And in order to do that, you have to date yourself. You have to find things that make you happy or smile. Go out, enjoy yourself, and not be locked up in the house. You know, because I definitely was depressed for so long, especially being pregnant because I was always in the house. I was locked up, but it didn't help me with staying in the house, but I chose to stay in the house because I didn't want to feel better. And that could be a sickness within itself. And then that can get on other people and people could start feeling like, okay, every time I'm around her or him, you know, they always sad or they always have this horrible energy around them. And this it could jump on other people and nobody want to be around that. So you want to be the person that people want to come around, people want to be around, people want to come to. So you just have to make sure that you are around and have those good friends, those people that uplift you, those people that have positive energy, because it's so important, especially with somebody who faced depression or faced different struggles and know that you get in depression if it's not going right. So in order to beat that, I feel like it's one of the re main things is the people that you surround yourself with is such so important and making sure you know they know that you in a state where you don't feel right so they can uplift you also because sometimes I could be ashamed I feel ashamed to let someone in or let them know like how I'm feeling but sometimes that could be the best thing for you in that moment and you don't even know it because they may have a word for you or may share something with you that could really break through you know and get you out and sometimes it could just click and be like, okay, so why did I even, like, I don't even know how I got to this point. Like, you know, sometimes with me, it just hit. Like, I'll be like, why am I doing this? Like, I I know who I am. Like, this is not my, I'm not myself. This is not me. Like, I can't be thinking like this. Like, I know who it is. And I know that I'm letting the devil win. And I don't want to. And you don't have to either. So you have to choose to win and defeat whatever it is that you're facing and get through it. And sometimes we try to run from it, but the best thing to do is face it head on. Face that thing, get through it so you can heal faster. No one want to sit and be afraid and you just going through months and months being depressed. And you don't have to be. But yeah, those are different things I feel as if you should do or you should try to utilize or change in order to get or beat depression or the different struggles that you're facing in life is to either just read or to talk to God or whatever God that you serve or that you may talk to do that or put yourself around positive energy talk to your friends uplift yourself or put affirmations around you that may uplift you making sure you have the right circle Put, make forcing yourself to go out or do places even when you don't want to you have to like fight against what you feel because again we're fighting against depression so i think those key things are really like the main things like just falling in love with yourself and being happy within yourself because once you find that happiness within yourself it's kind of like why am i feeling this way or why am i going through this or why you'll look back at those moments and be like that's not even me or how did I even get through that? Because we all go through things and nobody is perfect. You're going to get through it every time. Every time you face something like that, you're going to get through it. So, But you just have to have the right tools, the right fight in you in order to get through it. Like, just feed your mind and set yourself up to be a winner set yourself up to win whatever you're going through and overcome that because like i always tell people god do not give his biggest test 
to those he feels as if can't fight it or get through it. He going to give it to his biggest, strong soldiers, I'm sorry, soldiers. And because he know that you can get through it because you got through it before. You just have to remember every time when you do face something like that, like this is only a test. This is only something that's momentary. And this is something that's not going to last. I'm not going to always feel this way. And then it's like you have to force yourself to get out of it. As soon as I get in depression, my whole mind is like, okay, how can I fight my the way I feel? And how can I get through that? And how can I get past this moment? That's always my mind. So as soon as you feel as if you're in it, you need to learn like quick or figure out quick, like how can I get past this? And that's always the thing. You don't want to just indulge in it and just stay there and be stagnant. Nobody wants to do that. So, yeah, that's all I have for you today. I hope you liked my video. If you did, please push the like button. Subscribe, like, or share my video. Thank you for watching.